Hey guys, what is up? My name's Ruth and welcome to my vlog. So the other night I had a really weird dream and I don't think I even remember what it was. But then I thought, you know what? I have a dream journal somewhere. So I broke it out. Yeah, so I thought I'd read you a few of my dreams. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a lucid dreamer. I can't control my dreams. I wish I could, but my dreams can kind of get a little bit weird and crazy. So this should be interesting. Okay, well, let's start out with a nightmare, I guess. Um, so this one was last year in August. So it says, let's see, it's 3.45. I was in the morning. I woke up at 3.45. I just had a terrible dream. It started out fine with Toby and I having drinks with friends. Then we were going to get food. On the way, Toby wanted to stop by this video game store. Well, apparently I broke something and they had to send my mind to some matrix repair shop where I talked to some guy. He said I had a file that, I don't know, was corrupt or needed to be downloaded. When we finally got it, it was a voicemail from Alora. Alora is my youngest sister. And a paper that said, in loving memory of Alora. This is when I kind of started to freak out. Um, on the voicemail, she was crying and upset, clearly depressed. I didn't want to believe it. I sat there and cried. I tried screaming, but I couldn't. I hate those dreams. When you try screaming or running, and you just can't. So I tried screaming, but I couldn't. When I finally walked in the church, my mom and the other kids were laughing. Not sure why. That's when I woke up. Oh, there was also a hand-carved music box that played the Harry Potter theme song with Alora's picture in it. And that was the end of the dream. And this isn't the first dream I've had where my sister got hurt or died. Uh, I very vividly remember it was years ago. And in my dream, we were playing with some friends that we had kind of grown up with, or that I had grown up with. And I don't remember exactly what happened, but I remember she had broken her neck and I went to carry her down the hill uh, from where our friends lived and I remember like reaching around and touching her neck and feeling it broken and it freaked me out. I woke up bawling, absolutely bawling. So when I had a second dream about her dying and like not just dying but like in the dream she had committed suicide and I, I this was when we were working together I was there and she walked in to clock on and like before she did anything I hugged her and was like if you ever need anything you better call me okay next uh, August 28th it all happened on South Hill I wasn't really doing anything but I noticed an outdoor pool and some kids were in it I ended up helping this one kid train but for what I don't know at the end AJ that's my oldest brother, dragged him underwater and I don't know if he made it. Uh, then I was back at home and couldn't turn on the bathroom light to put contacts in. I don't wear contacts. Never have, probably never will. Yeah, I don't know. Beats me. Next! I was visiting my grandparents at my mom's house. They weren't doing good. They said Papa had a few weeks. I kind of remember this one. I think I woke up crying. I tried writing Andrea to tell her I was going to need time off soon, but I couldn't. I kept getting interrupted, and I forget what kept interrupting me. Uh, finally, I was trying to write on this poster, and this guy kept trying to take it. He chased me for it. He ended up taking my whole family captive and trying to get me to marry him. Ew. His family helped. I was finally able to get a note to the cops and they came and rescued us. That's creepy. Ugh. I don't remember this. I don't remember who the old guy was. I'm happy with Toby. Okay. Me and some others were trying to get people to believe in fairies. If people believed they got their own fairy, 
Then Toby got one of his friends to believe, but he got a dragon instead. <laughs> that would be a shock. We helped the friend rebuild his barn into a banquet hall, and we held a nice dinner for some of the richer people in town, but someone didn't like it. He came in and killed us all, even the dragon, but the dragon had an egg, and years later it hatched. I do remember that little bit of that dream where we all died. But the fairies and the dragons? No idea. Okay, also, in my dreams, I'm always running. To something, from something, just because. One night I ran a whole marathon just because. But, yeah. So, usually my dreams start out with, I'm running. From something, or to something, or whatever. Okay. September 3rd. I remember running around some sort of battlefield. There was a tank or something at one end, and we used it to kill some creature. Then Ryan ditched us. Ryan's one of our volunteers at youth group. Thanks for ditching us, Ryan. Next thing I remember is I was- What? Apparently Tom Hiddleston has amazing hair and amazing eyes. I don't remember this. Then I was talking to the ladies of Criminal Minds. Spencer walked past looking like a clown and left a metal bracket behind. Then we were driving in a car and that's all I remember. I must have watched a lot of TV that night. September 4th. I dreamt I was in a thrift store, and I was helping Macaroni's owner find her harness. Macaroni is a dog that I groom at work. Uh, it took forever. Then I was running, I think. Something about someone getting married. It was weird. I remember robots, or servants, and they turned evil, I think. I think a lot of things, apparently. The last part was I went to work on the rampage, but it was at the Wellers, some old friends. Which was actually mom's house. Instead, I ended up making chicken. I go to work on my car at some friend's house. That's actually my mom's house. But I end up making chicken? September 5th. I only remember the last bit after Toby left for work. I was in mom's house, but I was with Sam and Dean and their dad. Uh, someone else was in the office, and I forced my way in to see who. It was this freaky lady who ended up being friends with the dad. I don't remember Sam and Dean's dad's name. Uh, so we all sat down to dinner, and the lady and her friend is trying to sell us all of this weird food, which ended up being tainted or something. Then one of Sam and Dean's friends gets his spirit taken, and Dean goes hunting for it. I find the guy's spirit waiting to use the bathroom. <laughs> So I go and tell Dean. That's when I woke up. I watch way too much TV. March 31st. Oh, this was the one I just had a few days ago. Okay, so prefix. I had been watching Gungon's YouTube channel, The Pop-Off. So, you, you need to know that. March 31st. I had a dream that I was helping in a doggy daycare, and I took Buddy, a customer, over from my place of work. Uh, Gun Gums was also helping there, which was weird. So somehow it turned into this huge contest where they had to eat a bunch of stuff and then pull a rope or cord hanging from the ceiling. Then that person and their teammate had to run to a specific location or something. Gun Gums and I were on a team, and he slayed the eating portion and we ran to our location, and I don't know if we won or not. Then Toby showed up, and we all hung out. So yeah. My dreams are weird. Some of them don't make sense, and I need to start writing more down. So if you want to see another video of me telling you my dreams, uh, leave a comment down below, and I will be sure to write down my dreams for the next couple weeks. So, yeah! If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of my uploads. And we'll see you next time.